Hi guys and welcome to short tower raid overview but first things first I have to get some stuff out of the way. <laughs> the first thing that just popped up is that someone commented that oh physical parkour is better without mods but I recorded a video and this was physical parkour. Basically parkour just like vanilla parkour just sucks. Second thing is that I'm gonna be renovating my room so I won't be able to record any videos in like entire weekend or maybe even like Monday. But I'm really happy for that. I think it's gonna look good finally because <laughs> someone was asking me when I was like streaming for my room like <laughs> are you Russian because of my rug or something. So yeah, I'm finally renovating this shit and I'm very happy for that. As well as I'm happy for finally reaching 700 subscribers and the growth is so fast that we are already at 725 so i hope by the end of this video you will also subscribe and leave a comment because likes don't matter i think that much but you know if you like the video just leave a like or something but yeah tower rate this video will be all over the place because i was mainly collecting some thoughts by playing this but honestly in short i like it i honestly liked it a lot especially this time around and Halloween theme this game mode is basically just superior but I couldn't use my mods mainly because I have to modify some parameters probably to just hit the new version of tower raid although I don't even know if I have to do this because it's gonna be gone in like four days or something and I also like how there are classes right now and that's something we've been asking for when the beta was released there's a tank class, there's like a pirate that deals damage from parkour moves, there's like a Van Aiden outfit that deals more the range damage I think. And I don't know what Plague does, probably like more stamina or something. But I've been maining Scarecrow and Pirate because, you know, Scarecrow is a tank so I was just mowing to the zombies. But I also like how the classes are balanced. like. Pirate has a grappling hook while other classes don't and Van Aiden has crossbow? Yeah, crossbow and other classes don't have these things. Also, starter base kit of things you can craft is very different in each class. So in my opinion it's done very good there. Although one small nitpick, I would actually like the idea to make a custom class. like. A tank that is agile or a crossbow master that has a grappling hook something like that making like a custom class that has some of the cool stuff but also is kind of nerfed so you know it's not overpowered to always go with the custom class you'll have like a loadout points something like in insurgency where you just have to spend some certain points and the most op stuff is expensive while the Worst stuff is basically cheap. We could make a class that spans the worst stuff, but also has a lot of it. But seriously, overall, uh, it's just a small idea. I don't really have anything to nitpick about this. And also, this time around, the tower is much more challenging. Especially on the first runs, I was very struggling without the perks, and especially when I didn't quite know what to expect. The runs are changed, but honestly, like, I don't think they're random anymore. I've been like playing three times or something like that and there were like three rooms exactly the same in the same layout. So maybe either something broke for me or basically it's not random anymore. But it's still very challenging, especially that you don't have your own weapons and you don't have your V-bars that were basically trivializing the entire beta. And you have to basically just focus with what you have and actually search for resources. And one small thing, there's not like enough honey because Scarecrow has this like inhaler that heals you constantly rather than a medkit that you, he wants. And honestly, I've been abusing this shit for like 1000 hours now. As you can see, I'm using one now. But this costs like 10 honey to craft. So honestly, it's just expensive considering how low the honey amount is on map. But overall, it's very fun. Despite that it's hard, it's actually managed to find this like sweet spot between being hard and also fun where you can mow zombies down at all, but 
but also you have to do it smart. So the difficulty, honestly, especially on normal difficulty, because usually I've been playing on hard, but on normal difficulty, it's done very good. The sad part is though that the perks don't stack. So you basically have to be stuck with only one perk per each level. So if you have like a negative perk that you deal, I don't know, 75% less damage, then it doesn't stack with like that you do more fire damage. And honestly, this idea of stacking perks was also mentioned by basically everyone because it's a great idea. But as I said in my previous video about the tower raid beta, that for it to work, the perks had to be less like percentage based and more like functional, where you couldn't use certain items or you couldn't like do certain kind of damage. But even with percentage based perks, it could actually work to some degree. And especially since now you actually get rewards in Baka's store or somewhere else, I think, too. Or maybe I'm like delusional or something. <laughs> but you finally get reputation even though you failed the raid. So you actually don't have to worry about like farming and going to the top. And also the good part is that the grinding is very easy. Like it took me two raids to reach 13th level. I think you can actually reach the 25th level very quickly. But yeah, back to perks. I think they should stack and I think they should give you more rewards. Especially since they are random. So you could have like a very bad run with all the red perks. But then you get like triple the rewards or you get a very good and easy run with all the orange perks and then you get no rewards i mean like no additional rewards you know since it's actually grindy you will be hoping to get actually the bad perks get more bonus and because it's random the grinding would be more fun because you know sometimes you will have easy run and still enjoy it but overall that's really another thing that more like a nitpick rather than actual like critique because Techland actually went overboard with this game mode this time. In terms of balance, I also love how weapons are balanced. You have the base weapon that deals like majority of the damage, but you can find other weapons but they have less, like much less durability, while your main weapon has infinite durability. But the ones you find usually have like 25, but also are modified so you can use them on bosses and deal probably way more damage than your main weapon. As well as I saw some new weapons, so it's cool that Techland actually still makes some designs rather than using the weapons straight from the main game. And also a little side note, I like how they fixed the push or charge. It wasn't working as intended for such a long time that I thought it's gonna be fixed like very quickly, but Looks like Techland has something better to do. But it's finally fixed, even this like... I don't know what, what it's called in the perk menu, but it works too, so I think everything is great right now. And as I said before, the Halloween theme is superior and the levels look very good with that theme. Other than having like a dual tower, you actually have some pumpkins, you actually have some decorations and they really went in some rooms overboard with it. I like how they updated and added some new rooms so you actually can go outside the tower in one and you have to jump to the balconies. And I think that was my favorite level of all in this like vista of big city. I don't know where it's located but it looks very good, especially with the fog. So I think my favorite level is where you just jump to balconies. But also fighting zombies because you know it's a zombie game. <laughs> And last thing, is it better than Neighborhood Watch? Sadly, no. I think Neighborhood Watch has more replay value while also providing much more content in like 6 months since Solar DLC while Techland had like 8 months of silence. These things can't be compared because Neighborhood Watch is honestly like much higher quality. The progression in there and basically like weapon management and like you have a hub so <laughs> that buys me i think but honestly i'm more willing to play neighborhood watch than tower raid although 
it's a great addition to Halloween and if you wanted to like spend a nice Halloween then Techland got you covered because it's actually a good time killer. And I know Techland focuses on dying like the beast so you basically don't have time to work on tower raid. So maybe actually them having put so many thoughts into this like Halloween event and theme is actually the effort. But I don't know maybe they treat us like so low and dying light is so dry that basically one small thing is enough to keep us alive. But yeah, in final thoughts, should you play tower raid? Obviously, because it, the grinding is very easy and Van Aiden costume is actually looking good. So you can basically just grind some stuff, like kill some time and actually have something cool in your inventory. But is it better than Neighborhood Watch? Sadly, no. Both modes came out on October and basically Neighborhood Watch swiped off entire Techland because of how good it is and I was praising it in my previous video because it's really good. I basically I remember I didn't have anything to nitpick about it only that there is no nights and nighttime would be like a great addition to Neighborhood Watch. But overall I think Tower Raid is going in the right direction with the classes and all and honestly I hope they actually will do some more progress and release another version of it for Christmas. Because you know Christmas is in like two months already. <laughs> wow, <laughs> how time went, right? So maybe for Christmas they will have something else prepared other than just snow. Although the snow was a great addition and I still have some screenshots because the game with the snow looked just gorgeous. So yeah, that's the tower rate for you and Thank you for watching, thank you all for subscribing and be patient because as I said at the beginning of the video I probably won't be posting for some time now but I think and I hope it will be actually worth it. So I guess see you around.